Manjaro 2.5 milligrams for weight loss. Everything you need to know coming from someone who's lost 64 pounds with Manjaro. Welcome friends. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Countess of Shopping. I've lost 64 pounds in a, a, a little bit over eight months of taking Manjaro injection. I have got a ton of stuff for you. All of the items I'm going to be talking about will be in the description link below. And I do have a free encouragement group for Manjaro folks. We go be Ozempic, Terazepatide weight loss, semaglutide weight loss listed down below too. Let's go ahead and dive in with Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, everything you need to know. First and foremost, how do you get the Manjaro injection or prescription? First, you need to go to your doctor, nurse practitioner, or PA to prescribe. Am I missing anyone else? Somebody who can give prescriptions, someone reputable who can give prescriptions. Um, I will be linking, if not now in the future, and I'll link me in the description, a reputable pharmacy nationwide and telehealth company um, in the future. If you see that it's blank, it means I'm still testing because <laughs> I test everything that I recommend with y'all on myself. <laughs> Having lost 64 pounds, I have a lot of experience, strength, and hope that I hope to share with you. Considering I could never lose weight and maybe like you, I've tried everything before Manjaro, Jenny Craig, Nutrisystem, Weight Watchers, um, the egg diet, the bone broth diet, the cabbage diet. I mean, you name it, I've tried it and I failed at all of them. <laughs> I had lost over 80 pounds with the keto diet before the pandemic, but gained all of the back and then some, and am now on my 100 pound weight loss journey. So Number one, get your prescription. Number two, get it fulfill, refilled or filled at a reputable pharmacy. Now, there are a lot of compound pharmacies if you're taking uh, terazepatide, which is the generic version. Um, basically, I've got my little, I've got our notes here of the scientific component of it. It's, it's Manjaro 2.5 milligrams is also known as a terazepatide. It's, it's a serotonin receptor, receptor antagonist. Clearly, I'm not a doctor, nor do I pretend to play one on the internet. It works by activating that serotonin receptor with the 2.5 milligrams and above for your brain and can lead to reduced appetite and feeling of fullness and help with food cravings. Hello. I could not stop eating food cravings every single night um, prior to Manjaro. And then so this, the 2.5 is where you start. And then it's stair steps, 2.5 milligrams, 5 milligrams, 7.5 milligrams, 10 milligrams, 12.5 milligrams. And as of right now, the ceiling is 15 milligrams. I am um, on 12.5 milligrams with a little bit over eight months. Slow and steady wins the race. You do not want to race to 15 milligrams as quickly as possible. Throughout this whole video, I'm going to be continuously pushing you back to your healthcare professional who prescribes the who prescribes Manjaro or Terazepatide, or if you're taking a semi-glutide or Wegovy. I know we do have some of those friends in the audience too. So first, get your prescription. Second, get it filled at a reputable pharmacy. And then that's when the magic happens. Now, with Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, I have traveled to Florida with it. I have traveled, um, I've traveled over the country with my Manjaro injection. So you can travel with it. I have a whole separate YouTube video that you can check out on our playlist. But it, it ideally is refrigerated. If you forget to refrigerate it, no worries. It can actually stay at room temperature for 21 days per the Eli Lilly Manjaro pamphlet that's included. You just don't want it frozen. If it's frozen, you're going to have to throw away your Manjaro pen. The pen is called the Manjaro. It's called a pen. It's the injection, but it's a pen with a plunger on it. Um, we can do a whole separate video of how you do the Manjaro injection, but I want to give you the full scope today on 2.5 milligrams. It's so easy to inject. You just literally twist it, push it. You hear a click, you'll hear a click again, and then you can remove it. You can inject Manjaro in three places, your arm, your thigh, and your stomach. I was too chicken for when I took Manjaro 2.5 milligrams. I believe the whole time I just put it in my stomach. I just rotated around my stomach like a clock. <laughs> I wish in hindsight I had rotated between my stomach, my thigh, and my arm. Your arm, for me, I have to have my husband do the injection because I can't reach where the diagram. Now, Eli Lilly in the pamphlet, I point and people freak out about it. You, you need to see on the Eli Lilly in the Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, it gives you a instruction booklet of where to put the injection on there, like where you should put it. It's like a little purple diagram. Use that. So it's the, actually the back of your arm. I'm pointing to the front, but it's the back of your arm for Manjaro. We go a little bit different, but um, just know that they give you a, a, a cute little illustration of a fabulous queen or king of where you're going to do that injection. By the way, if you haven't gotten my Manjaro success, weight loss success checklist, make sure you get that down below in the description. Next up side effects. I want you, and I didn't bring mine in, I didn't bring all my stuff in, but I want you, I have a great food, it's like a meal planning notebook that I love to recommend to people, link in the description. You can use that 
or you can use the notes app on your phone, I want you to start tracking the date that you're taking your injection, the dose, and any side effects. I would encourage you to do that for the first few months and ideally until you get to a higher level or even beyond that because it's still really, really helpful. I wish I had tracked better. I have a digital planner that I have created, and um, but I, I, I want to encourage you, it may just be easier to use it on your phone or to use that um, tactile, it's the meal planner that I recommend um, that's on Amazon. Um, one or two of those options to start tracking this for yourself or a spreadsheet or whatever. Start tracking your date, your dose, any side effects. And you can do like a smiley face, a sad face, uh, like just start tracking it. So then you know, hey, on the third week of Manjaro, 2.5 milligrams, I got massive diarrhea. <laughs> cha, cha, cha. Um, or I felt great. I had more energy than I've had in the past decade. Or maybe my sleep was interrupted. I woke up like seven times in the middle of the night and that's not normal for me. So start tracking some of those because that's going to be really, that's going to be your best friend. And again, I've got resources for you down in the description link below for a tactile paper tracker that I like. Mm. With that also, I have two resources. I talk about it pretty much in every single, actually three resources I talk about in every single video that I encourage you to use. One is tracking for yourself. At the very beginning, take a photo of yourself, pick a piece of clothing that you want to wear every single week for your weigh-ins. Your weigh-in can be your phone, a piece of clothing, and then also a scale. And then the fourth one is a smart tape measure. Smart tape measures are so helpful that syncs, I have one that I like that syncs to your weight scale, syncs to your um, measurement scale, and it all syncs in one place on your phone. So it's all, the data's all together all together now um that's the one i like and i like that it all syncs together but when you don't if you have a weight stall a manjaro weight stall you can use that smart tape measure to see if that's moving maybe your waist is getting smaller but the scale's not moving a piece of clothing i use my pink golden girls t-shirt <laughs> and that helps to tell me like I can, i'm like it's huge now on me which is amazing i'm like oh my gosh like it used to be super super tight and now it's not and then also photos oh my gosh I can't see the day-to-day -day change, but in a photo, I'm like, oh my gosh, I had like five chins. <laughs> like, it's just super, super interesting to see those. So I would encourage you to use those four units of tracking. If for me, I had to go, no, I had to go, and I've talked about this in other Manjaro weight loss success check-ins, in my Manjaro playlist, I literally had to go to therapy to get over the scale. And it took multiple, it took like three therapy sessions to break through all of the negative false beliefs and what the scale used to do to me when I'd weigh myself. Now I weigh myself pretty much every day for accountability. Cause I know, like I know I'm like, if the scale went up, I'm like, oh, maybe it's cause I had some sushi and I had a little bit of soy sauce or I ate a lot or I, I feel like I am coming for a big win now. Like I can kind of tell and my emotional management of the scale is not what it used to be. If you are not there yet, you're going to get there. If you're not there yet, because truly Manjaro is a, for me has been amazing for healing that food relationship. And if you come from an unhealthy food relationship like I did with Manjaro, um, that the healing for the scale for me has been huge to be able to have like a healthier relationship with food and also the scale. So that's my encouragement to you. Use those four units of tracking. If you don't want to use the scale, great. Use this tape measure and, you know, maybe you weigh yourself however you feel best. I want to encourage you to however you feel best. Um, next, meal plan. I get asked so much about Manjaro meal plan. I personally use two resources. I'll link them in the description link below. One is Beyond Body. I order them. It's a customized meal plan for myself. They also have customized weight training plans, which I also talk about that later but the customized meal plan you can put in there like I don't like certain the way like chicken kind of scares me <laughs> like a certain way chicken prepared like I can have rotisserie chicken I can have it certain ways but other ways I can't you can put in the book like if you don't want chicken for example like you can customize in there what you do if you want more low carb for me I was like I want more vegetables like don't stock me up on couscous and potatoes I would like some vegetables so like you can customize it towards yourself um, and it's an actual physical book. They do have a digital one. That for me has been awesome for my protein. And then the second resource I use for my Manjaro meal plan, which I have, I feel kind of badly about it because I've bashed them for years because I was a Weight Watchers membership for decades and I could not lose weight. 
Well, I've gone back to Weight Watchers and it's actually been super helpful for my healing relationship with food. So I do have a discount code for both the Beyond Body. There's a 10% off discount code in the description. They've been super generous to give it to the Countess of Shopping community. And then Weight Watchers, sometimes they have promos that link down below will have it or not. Like it will show you if it does or if it doesn't. So those will both be linked down below. And then the third one, surprise, there's a third one, is I do get twice a week a meal delivery system that is protein focused and vegetable focused. Um, one of our viewers asked if it's organic based. You can't, and they found out, I didn't even know this, that you could get all organic if you wanted. We opt not to do that, but you can. Um, but we do those meal deliveries twice a week. They're awesome. It's food I never would have cooked for myself, and I absolutely love it. We are fostering a dog right now, an 80 pound Great Pyrenees. And she's crying down below. All I can hear is she's like, woo, 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 woo. I hope you guys can't hear that. If anybody's looking for a foster for Great Pyrenees in the Virginia area, <laughs> we are fostering sunshine. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Okay, Um. next. So when you're taking your Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, side effects. Just because you have side, don't have side effects at 2.5 milligrams does not mean you're not going to have side effects later on. Um, as you stair step, which is why that tracking component is going to be important for you um, and what I would encourage you to do. For me, my Manjaro side effects were um, I had whack sleep. Like my sleep was so wacky. For the 2.5, I kept waking up. Like I just, I, I'd wake up at like 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. and my normal wake up time is 7 a.m. And so I'd wake up and I was like, wide-eyed and bushy-tailed. So I was like, oh, I'm on a whole new life journey. I love this journey for you. And so I don't know if that was the, ex I don't know if it was the excitement of it. I don't know. But I also had, um, and most people have the most standard ones are gastrointestinal issues. Two things. One, if you get diarrhea, cha-cha-cha. I have linked down below some solutions for you. There, you can have things to help with diarrhea. The second one of those is taking, for me, Element Electrolytes. Electrolytes, if you do get diarrhea, and I take it Element pretty much every day. Uh, either zero to two, they're sticks, and they have no dyes, no added sugar. Most electrolytes have added sugar. If you look at, like, Liquid IV, um, Ultima, like, some of you have had me look at your ingredients, and I'm like, ooh, and again, I'm not a nutritionist, but I can just, like, you can tell, like, it has added sugar. Like, you can see, like, there's sugar grams in it. Element does not. It tastes amazing, though. It's potassium, magnesium, and sodium. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend. So that, if you have diarrhea, if you don't have diarrhea, it helps with cramping too, like leg cramps, for example, if you get those. Like other side effects beyond that for me and fatigue. So gastrointestinal, if you get diarrhea, have that down below. If you get nausea, have another solution because I do have a Manjaro weight loss encouragement group with thousands of people. This is the one that most people have recommended in the group that have worked for them. I've gotten nausea maybe twice. And I actually didn't mind because I didn't eat copious amounts. So I was super happy about it. I was like, oh, well, my God, nausea. Um, and my chair is creaking, by the way, I, because I'm on studio here at Amazon Live and I got a lot of PR around me. So it keeps creaking. I'm not farting. I promise. <laughs> I'm not having gastrointestinal issues. I promise. I promise. Um, but having, um, if you get constipated, that's the other big one. So again, Element helps with that with the electrolytes. Um, but there's another one that will help with that too in the description link below. Nausea, diarrhea, and constipation. Those are the biggest ones that I have seen. Again, I'm not a doctor, nurse, medical professional, but those are the ones I've seen and I have all the solutions down below for those too. Um, and ginger chews. Some people have in our group have highly recommended ginger chews. I have shied away from those for nausea because there's a lot of sugar in the ones I've seen. Uh, so if you do have one, a brand that doesn't have crazy sugar, tell me in the comments down below. And also, if you are on higher doses of Manjaro 2.5, please put in the comments um, if you have other things to add onto this video so you can look in the comments and see all those and make sure you stay till the end because we've got our Countess of Shopping game that we always play with all of the OG counts and countesses here. Next, so we talked about side effects. So those are the most common ones. If you're having things like, I hear people tell me in the group, oh, my vision's getting impaired. You need to immediately run to your doctor or medical professional. Your vision should not be impaired. To me, that could be diabetes related. There could be other issues. Like if you're having vision changes, talk to your doctor. Like gastrointestinal is pretty normal. Um, I had had, and I've shared about this all, and you can see my other Manjaro, like literally my face looks, I look different. I mean, I was 60 plus pounds <laughs> more than I am now. Um, about how I had, it felt like snapping rubber bands on the back of my legs. It was intense pain. And I had had major surgery on the right side of my leg. And I was like, thank you, God, it was not on the right side of my leg. It's on the left side. 
Well, I haven't told you guys this at all. The Countess of Shopping community, this is the first time I'm sharing this. I had had um, horrific, I was in the shower the other day. I was using my amazing uh, Sol de Janeiro exfoliant, which I'll also link down below because I'm obsessed. I was doing it on the back of my leg. And I haven't normally, I, I don't like pay attention. I'm just, I just don't look at the back of my left leg. I looked, I was horrified. There was all these broken capillaries going down the back left side of my leg. My friends, that probably was seven and a half, eight months ago. Why I felt like snapping rubber bands on the back of my legs with these, I'm, I'm assuming, was the capillaries breaking, which probably had nothing to do with Manjaro. Maybe it did, maybe it didn't. But um, I'd never had that sensation ever in my entire life. And it's gone away. It hasn't come back. But I also wonder sometimes, because my husband and I have talked about this, that there was a study done about someone who was, uh, some people who were depressed on Manjaro. And it wasn't true. It actually was something like, well, whatever the statistic is of, of the general population who is depressed was what it was on Manjaro. Someone's like, oh, Manjaro made me depressed. Well, actually, like statistically speaking with the trials on there they actually didn't correlate it there wasn't an increase like the standard population does have depression does that make sense of what i'm trying to say that they do have depression naturally and it was the same amount within the majaro it didn't see any increase off of that percentage off of the population versus people taking majaro with depression so for me i'm like is this even majaro at all you know what I mean? Like, would I have had this with Majaro without, like, without even taking Majaro? I probably would have had that snapping leg sensation. So I did want to correct that from my video eight months ago, <laughs> where I was talking about, and several months, even seven months after that, about how I had these horrific leg cramps. That is why. And now I see it on the back of my left leg. I just noticed. I just don't pay attention to stuff like that. I guess maybe I should. Maybe that's a wake-up call for me. I should, like, inspect my body a little bit more. I just don't. Um... Let's go on to the next one, protein ideas. People ask me all the time, protein ideas. Why do I need to take protein? Because of muscle loss with weight loss. For Manjaro weight loss, you need to be mindful. And again, this is, is it a weight loss thing or is it a Manjaro thing? I'm, I'm venturing to guess it's, it's a weight loss across the board. You, you lose muscle, <laughs> not just with Manjaro. So you need to be, and I would, again, I'm not a nutritionist, so always check with your own nutritionist. But from the studies and research I have read about, um, and for me, I feel best going with my own experience, strength, and hope for this whole video, is I feel best when I take protein. So today, for example, I had some chicken salad earlier. Like, that was my lunch. I had chicken salad, and I had a little bit of curried couscous. It was from this, like, Zsa, Zsa restaurant. It was so good. But I only ate a couple bites of the couscous because I wanted to eat all of the delicious chicken salad. It was so good. So, protein. I've got a ton of protein ideas for you, actually 125 protein ideas. I'll link that blog post down below. What I traditionally pump back to is ground turkey, regular turkey, hamburger, um, cheese, nuts, um, hard-boiled eggs. Uh, I love me a good uh, sous vide cooker. <laughs> I've got my crock pot to put in there, other things. I've got a whole bunch of cooking tools for you. I'll link those in the description link below too. If you wanna up your Manjaro meal prep game, um, I love chia seeds and my protein bowl. If you can see my what I eat in a days and I show a lot of protein focused foods. So that's an example for you as well. And you can you totally use for those protein ideas my Amazon Manjaro shopping list linked also down below too. Weightlifting, weight training. I did not do weight training literally until a week ago. <laughs> so it had been eight full months of Manjaro being on Manjaro injection. I didn't. I didn't want to. I also didn't feel like for me... I wouldn't be able to hold the weights and like sustain weight training and weight lifting. And so I'm super, super excited. Here's the weights that I love. I'm obsessed with my Bowflex one. Bowflex. I love them. The Count and I, um, the Count doesn't use these. And he's, he's had some health things going on. So he doesn't really use these as much anymore, but we used to share them. But you can adjust the weights on them. And so I have gotten back into weight training. But the bottleneck as to why I didn't weight train before was I didn't know what I was doing. So beyond body that book that i recommended earlier for your meal plan they actually offer like when you check out with the book like hey do you want to add on a weight training program i'm like yes so they created a customized weight training program for me and they'll do it for you too and it was only like the whole book i want to say was like 50 to 75 to uh, around the 100 ish and less 50 to 100 dollars depending on what bump ups you get with it um for me, it was well worth it. I think it was like an extra 10, maybe 20 bucks to get the workout plan. I'm like, ah, on top of the customized meal plan, which I wanted anyways. So um, 
It's the coolest thing. I love that book. I love that book. And for fifty to a hundred dollars, depending, I forget what the price point. Somewhere I bought mine, by the way. I bought mine. Um, I actually bought it twice. <laughs> I bought it last year and I lost it. I actually just found it in the Christmas box, but I digress. So now I have two. And it's the same, like, I had the same preferences too, which cracked me up. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was like the same things that I like are still the things that I like. Um, so figuring out what you like for protein ideas and then working out for me. I also love, um, let me see if I still have it here. I want to show you guys the video of it real fast. Um, I have three things I love to do. I love to walk my dog. Um, and Mr. Freddy is amazing and that's Mr. Freddy we still have him and we're fostering another dog right now sunshine we foster dogs all the time so you may see if you hear me talking about other dogs we still have Mr. Freddy he's not gonna go he's a permanent fixture in our household um, and we rescue and foster a lot of dogs but our under the desk workout for me is also huge if you sit at the your desk they say that smoking um, sitting is the new smoking I'm trying to find the workout for you so you guys could see um, they say that smoking work Sitting is the new smoking. So maybe checking out your under the desk elliptical, under the desk bike. I have all of them. I like them all too. Um, I like all of them too. I'm trying to find, where is the video? It's <laughs> driving me nuts. Okay, maybe I don't have it. Maybe I don't have it. Oh, it's over here. I was gonna say, I moved it. I moved the video to show you guys. Um, but uh, if I can't find it in the next two seconds, then I'm just gonna bag it. But. I do highly encourage, by the way, here's another protein is the Ninja Protein Ice Cream. You make it yourself. It's an incredible investment. So well worth it. So good. So easy. I'll link that one down below too. Speaking of protein ideas. Oh, here it is. Um, the under the desk elliptical. It's awesome. They're awesome. And so I use one of the other things that I use, and I'm going to be doing a whole video on this is the aura ring. I'm not wearing it right now because it's charging. But it has on there my sleep, my mood. I can period track, which, by the way, my period got completely jacked on Manjaro. I did a whole video on um, birth control and stuff like that in your period with my experience with Manjaro. So just something to be mindful. My period got so whacked. We talked about that, too, in my Manjaro weight loss encouragement group as well. If you are still getting your menstrual cycle if you're pre, like, before menopause. It's been a wha It's been wacky. So that for me has been a side effect. Most people don't really talk about that, but that's been my experience and a lot of other people too. And we've talked about that um, as well. Just something to be mindful. I didn't experience that on Manjaro 2.5 milligrams, but that's something that I did. I have experienced now on Manjaro 12, like uh, stair-stepping through my journey. So under the desk workout, going back to the workouts, muscle, 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 because there's muscle mass loss with weight loss. So you get that with Manjaro. So I'm combating that with my lifting plan, which I'm going to be lifting later today. Um, and then two, my under the desk cycle. And then three, I walk my dog. I like to do swimming and I have a swim membership. I just haven't been because life's been cuckoo crazy. Um, but that is something that I really also enjoy. So finding things that you enjoy for working out, for body movement, things like that, to help rail against that muscle mass loss. And that's why you hear me say hey, protein. And also because protein makes me full. Protein makes me full. And I want to stay full. <laughs> how it happened for me and for Manjaro 2.5 milligrams and if you've made it this far I got some I've got some extra secrets for you as well how it's been helpful for me with Manjaro 2.5 and for people that I've had the pleasure of observing which has now been thousands and thousands and thousands of people is don't fret my pet if you're like I'm still full I'm still binging I don't I still have the food noise or food chatter people say what's food noise or food chatter for me it's the obsession or compulsion of thinking about food continuously that for me stopped on Manjaro 12 uh, Manjaro 2.5 milligrams for a lot of other people it doesn't now remember Manjaro is half life doses uh, half life dose on day six and day seven so for me it comes back on those days and just know that. And then I go back on day one through three. I pretty much don't eat very much, mainly protein focused, if at all. And then I focus in on my electrolytes during that time period, too, if I'm not eating, which I'm also fine to do because I have done intermittent fasting and I like doing intermittent fasting because of those benefits. Um, now, if you stayed this far, I want to tell you there's new studies that are coming out and you can Google these. I'm not going to cite my source down below. Please Google them because they're actively in trials of Three, three things uh, that Manjaro is showing to help. One is with dementia. Um, we'll see more on that. That's still really, really early. But more, two, these two are better than that so far because that's still like super, super, super early. But I did read about that and I was like, interesting. Two is health heart benefits. 
the heart benefits of it, which makes sense, right? Like I'm on a hundred pound weight loss journey. I've lost 64 pounds. Like obviously that's going to hurt my heart, right? But there is heart health benefits that they're showing. And three, this is the one I'm so jazzed about is cancer. Now, you know, because uh, if you have your, if you're on Manjaro or if you're on um, Tears Epitide, I would imagine, I would imagine that they would put on there the same warnings. But with Manjaro, it has the warning that of potential thyroid cancer. That thyroid cancer is genetic thyroid cancer. And it's a very, very small percentage of the population for that. Just FYI on that. When I found that out, I was like, oh, I've been so afraid because I have thyroid issues. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a genetic thyroid cancer. And it's a very, very, very small portion, which to me helped. I don't know about you, but for me, I was like, oh, it like helped me alleviate my like fears about that. But it is showing, which makes sense. Doesn't it make sense? Like for me, I was eating so much sugar every single night, binge eating, couldn't stop eating, having these compulsions with food. And then now that the food noise is gone, the food chatter is gone, like it's taken that basically away. I'm not eating that sugar really that that would help. We know that with cancer, it's sugar can definitely play a role into that. And eating really unhealthy foods, obviously that's going to help with cancer and stuff. So more is coming out also on that and the links with that too, which I find fascinating. I find fascinating. So all of the negative press that you hear about Ozempic and Wegovy and Manjaro, which are GLP-1s, um, there's some really cool stuff that's coming out. And there's also other cool ones in the pipeline too, which I continue to monitor, continue to monitor. I suspect, and it's been announced by Eli Lilly. I want to make sure that's right. Did I just say that's right? I'm, I'm almost, I'm 99% positive that that is right, that Eli Lilly said this is my source. I always like to cite my sources. Lord knows there's so much inter- misinformation on the internet. I don't want to be those people. I want to be scientifically based and source cited based. I believe it's Eli Lilly who said this. Um, that they will get approved for Manjaro for weight loss um, here uh, by the end of 2023, which will be great. And that's going to change insurance stuff too. If you're not getting approved through your insurance, which I know a lot of insurance companies are watching me right now because they try to come into my uh, encouragement group. I'm like, oh my gosh, people are declining us and making our lives H-E double hockey sticks. We're trying to come into the free encouragement group. No, thanks. And which I monitor, by the way, for spam, if you don't get accepted on the first go around, you need to make sure you answer all my questions for the free encouragement group, because I don't let anybody in. I am very like I that is my encouragement group too, just as much as it is for thousands of other people. So I do make sure that there's not spam with that. But um, let me know your questions down below. I'm pretty sure I answered everything. I had copious notes back here. <laughs> I had a lot of stuff I wanted to make sure I shared it. This is a long video, but I wanted to make sure I did talk about Manjaro 2.5 milligrams for weight loss. Everything you need to know. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so about getting it. What do you do with the pen afterwards? Oh, um, I have the waist, like for needles, waist receptacles. I don't use that anymore. I have it and I still, that's where I put my pens in just for, so my kid doesn't mess with it. I use it mainly because I've got an eight year old and I also have pets. And so I use it for that purpose, but you don't have to have those. Eli Lilly also gives away free, well, they did. I don't know if they still do, receptacle, like toss out bins of the Manjaro injection pen. Um, I get asked a lot, and this is the other one I do want to make sure, because my friend just started taking Wegovy and we were talking about it and sim- very similar. Um, I was like, there's leftover stuff on the pen for Manjaro. I've had that too, of like a little bead. That is totally fine. You didn't waste it. You didn't do it wrong. That's normal. Um, also, if there's leftover liquid or the medicine left in the Manjaro injection pen in that plunger, you see the little glass part and you see that there's still liquid in there. That is also totally normal. It's not going to be completely like gone. Um, so that also like absolve your fears. If there's a B, you did it right. Like literally I hear so many people like, I did it wrong. No, you probably didn't do it wrong. You probably didn't. As long as it's in that purple spot. As long as it didn't freeze (laughs) Um, and you hear the clicks. Now what I do is I'll put it in, it'll click, and then you'll hear 10 seconds later the other click, and that's when you can take it off. I will hold it an additional 10 seconds, so 20 seconds for me total, and I'll count one Mississippi, two, and I'll just hold it, and then I'll take it off, and then I'll dispose of it. But the odds of you, Eli Lilly has made this pretty much dummy proof. (laughs) Thanks, Eli Lilly. They've made the plunger on there really, really reputable and easy to use too. So um, I will link down below, as I mentioned, a reputable telehealth company. I've been, I've been, I've been secret, I've been secret, this is, you stay till the end, now you hear my secret. I've been secret shopping telehealth companies, so I could recommend to you some of my, like my favorite. 
<laughs> which is why if you don't see in the link, if you see that it's blank, that means I'm still secret shopping. If you see that there's a name in there, that means I've been like, that was my conclusion and pharmacy too, because I've been going around. Now, um, if you have somebody who has a Wegovy weight loss, um, Majaro weight loss, Ozempic, well, Ozempic is for diabetes. So <laughs> people go up in arms when I mention Ozempic, but if you're doing Ozempic for weight loss, Ozempic for diabetes, uh, semaglutide, terazepatide, I do have an encouragement group. All are welcome in that, um, making sure that you fill out all those things. Go shopping down all my links down below. That helps to support the Countess of Shopping channel. Um, if you're on Amazon, you can completely use all of those links down below. And then that helps our channel too. Um, and I'm trying to, and in the private group, we also go into more depth with these two, but I would love in the comments, this is our thing that we do every Countess, um, most, unless I forget, Countess of Shopping videos of where I give you an emoji and you put that emoji in the comments if you've watched this far. It helps me to get you to know you better. There's thousands of you and there's only one of me, but I will remember your name, your user handle. As people do that, like month after month after month, I know our community so well. Um, I get excited when I see certain names pop up. I will pray over you. I will send you positive intentions. And so if I don't answer every single comment, no, it's I will. I may not answer every single comment, but I will pray over you and send you positive intentions because I do intentionally go through those comments. It's important to me for the Countess of Shopping community. Uh, so know that I will, I, if you comment down below, so the um, emoji this week in honor of Sunshine, who we're fostering and she needs to get adopted, um, is a dog. <laughs> Give me dog paws. You could put a cat emoji down there too. I'll take cats, cats or dogs, or a dog paws or something emoji or dog cat related. And you guys are always so creative with your emojis. It cracks me up. <laughs> I also want to know, because we're all about action here at the Countess of Shopping community, it is one thing to watch this video and learn the knowledge, which of course is paramount. But two, I want to encourage you so strongly. What is your action item this week? Tell me in the comments below. Um, you can put the emojis with this or separately. I want to know though. I want you to take actions this week. What are you going to do this week to move you forward in your health journey? I care about you. I'm cheering for you. I want to encourage you um, and hopefully give some experience, strength, and hope that Lord knows if I can do it. I hope that that gives you some encouragement too that you can do it as well. So. There are other side effects with Mandaro, which is why, and all these GLP ones, which is why I always punch you over to your doctor. This is not medical advice. Um, make sure you give this um, video a like and a subscribe. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. We'll see you next time. Mwah.